hey guys i'm back with another tutorial so welcome to my channel and today we are going to texture our war horn in substance painter so in our last video we exported our mesh and finished the unwrapping today we are going to import the mesh in substance painter and start texturing so let's create a new project and import our mesh and uh, as per usual i'm going to take the resolution 2048 and normal map format to open gl leave all the settings uh, to default click ok now let's bake the mesh maps so go to texture set settings and uh, go here in the bake mesh maps change the output size and uh, use this low poly mesh as high poly mesh also i'm going to increase the anti-aliasing to 2 by 2 go to ambient occlusion and i'm going to increase the secondary rays to something like 200 and click on apply to all and uh, click on this bake selected texture so our maps are done so let's go to our texture set list and uh, first we're going to texture the wood so select this uh, wood set and uh, remove this empty layer and uh, in your materials uh, i have this wood material which i downloaded from this substance 3d community assets and i've already made a tutorial about this so you can watch that one i'll drop the link in the description and you can also click on the i button to get this video so you can download all these materials from here so i'm going to use this one and uh, i'm going to change the projection to tri planner remove the hardness and rotate this 90 increase the tiling to something like this and as you can see that uh, our wood has a lot of high detail so i'm going to turn off the high channel or what you can do is you can uh, add a level here and in the affected channel change it to height and i'm going to just decrease the height value a little bit like this So now it looks much better and now I'm going to add another level and in this level I'm going to switch the channel to roughness and just increase the roughness a little bit. So something like this. I'm going to rename this base and i'm going to take this wood rough and uh, add a black mask then add a generator and select this metal edge wear and add some damage to the corners like this and i'm going to use tri planner and increase the contrast and then wear level something like this and uh, rotate my material to 90 increase the tiling to 3 or 2 and now uh, we are going to go to our metallic parts so let's select that and delete this layer and for this i'm going to use another smart material that you can find in your substance painter and i'm going to use this iron old drop this material here open this and in the iron as you can see that you don't have the options to change its colors so we're going to play with this luminosity contrast and hue shift
so this looks good and on top of it we are going to add some details so for that i'm going to take a fill layer here and uh, import a PST file so let's uh, go to add resources and I'm going to add some stencil like this define it as alpha and import so I have this uh, detailed alpha here so I'm going to import this in height and uh, I'm going to change the UV wrap to none switch the viewport to 3d and 2d and uh, let's scale this down something like this and place it here so as you can see here we have this detailing uh, you can scale it to match the UV like this so to remove this white part just turn off the color and uh, also turn off the metal and roughness let's scale this up just a little bit like this and uh, you can also increase the height value but uh, this one looks pretty good so I'm going to add uh, an anchor point here and rename this details height and I'm also going to add a filter so let's add blur now this looks much more realistic so I'm going to turn down the blur intensity to something like this and we're going to go to this metal edge where and scroll down here in the micro height select the anchor point repeat the same thing with micro normal and in the reference channel of the micro normal uh, change it to normal and in the height change it to height now scroll up and here you'll see this micro detail section open this and turn these on now you can see that our metal edge wear generator is also affecting our anchor point layer so if i turn this off you can see what happens so now you can increase or decrease the intensity so let's increase the wear level just a little bit I'm going to make it a little bit darker something like this and we're going to repeat the same thing here so I'm going to take a duplicate of this layer and uh, this one i'm going to place on the smaller part so i'm going to scale this down so press shift and scale it uniformly and let's go to blur now this looks much better
now let's add a dirt layer so i'm going to select this rust material so we have this rust fine i'm going to drop here and uh, add a generator and we are going to use this dirt and uh, let's make it a little bit darker something like this this looks much better so if it looks too much then what you can do is you can turn down the opacity just a little bit like this and uh, you can also do the same thing with this dirt map so go to anchor points and uh, in the normals select the details high and uh, change it to normal and do the same thing with uh, here so this one was height and this one is normal go to micro detail and turn this on and you can add some more dirt here so what you can do is you can uh, take a new fill layer and in this fill search for grunge map and let's try some of these maps and uh, set this to linear dodge and now you can see that you can add more rust over these parts Again, I'm going to turn down the opacity. Also for this one, like this. Now let's go to your wooden part and uh, again select this rust fine, drop here. Then add a black mask and a generator. Select this dirt generator and uh, increase the level decrease the contrast go to this material and change its color to something like this and also turn down the opacity Now you can add some scratches on this board. So what you can do is you can take another fill layer, turn off color, metal, normal, increase the roughness and height to minus 0.1, add a black mask and a fill, then search for scratches. And if you want more scratches, you can increase the tiling like this and uh, let's increase the balance if you want your scratches to be deep decrease the width and also the length we don't want this much scratches in our mesh so i'm also going to remove the double scratches So this much looks fine. So our texturing is done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.